from the very beginning of this emergency, our key and fundamental priority has been to making sure that our vulnerable residents are protected and are safe. And in order for this to happen, we've set up a community hub. We've got 40 staff who are staffing that hub seven days a week. And it is about whether the person is concerned about themselves or their neighbor or a family member ring us and we will get put you in touch with a team of council officers or age uk who between them will make sure that the resident elderly person or isolated person is provided with food and medical supplies and linked up with the council systems so so important that we look after our vulnerable members of the society particularly those who have been asked by government to self-isolate for a period of 12 weeks which is a very long time for people quite apart from helping our residents keep safe and protected we have reached out to our business community a thriving business community of Wandsworth also faces huge challenge in this time of lockdown we have reached out to them with information about all the government support that is available to businesses, whether it is about furloughing staff or whether it is about business rate support or whether it's about any loans to make sure that the business doesn't keel over. Up to this morning, we have distributed £15 million to 2,500 local businesses. In fact, this morning I had a, a, an email from a local businessman appreciating that within three days of making an online application, a sum of money has reached his bank account. He was very, very impressed with the efficiency and effectiveness with which the council is handling that. But you know, quite apart from our vulnerable residents and our uh, business community, we have also partnered with our voluntary sector. We have set aside £100,000 as a down payment to making sure that they are resourced to help us help the local community. And all this is within a £10 million emergency fund that we have set to respond to this uh, COVID virus emergency. There are enormous efforts being made by council staff working huge times to making sure that everyone is looked after and as far as possible. And you know, I would say one thing, you know, many people have written to me saying how wonderful it is that our bin men are continuing to collect re refuse from households. So our weekly collection continues as before. So, so important at a time when people are concerned about hygiene and cleanliness. But you know, you can do more than that. What you can do is to help us help yourself and help our community stay safe. And a crucial part of that help is to follow the Public Health England's guidelines about social distancing. Go out only when you need to, go out for food, go out for medicine, go out for uh, taking the dog for a walk or an exercise, but always, always keeping that crucial two meter distance between you and another person. So I urge you all you know, to help us, help yourself, help our community stay safe during this unprecedented crisis.